your dreams, goals and desire, aspirations, it's good that you spend little more time on it and see, will this really mean something to you even after twenty-five years, fifty years? If you are in your deathbed, will it still mean something to you? You must look at it. Whatever you're aspiring for, whatever you're dreaming of, whatever goals you have set, will it really mean something? Because most of these goals are traps, they're just traps. You get in, it's only one way street, you can't turn back. I want you to look at this because many of them are older than you. You ask them what they dreamed of at eighteen, they're fortunate it didn't come true. If everything that you desired and dreamed came true in your life, could you live with it? Fortunately, many of those things got filtered and never came true, <laughs> isn't it? It will be very good if anybody of your age, if they want to decide and fix the goals of their life, it will be very good if they take a break from all influence that's around them. Social influences, family influences, other influences, withdraw somewhere, that's why an ashram. Withdraw somewhere, sit down, meditate, bring yourself to a certain level of clarity and joy. When you're very happy and clear, you must decide. Not in desperation you set goals. Desperate goals that you set will mean a lot to you at that moment. Tomorrow morning you look, you don't know why you're tangled up with it. So, uh, it'll be good. If you're… if you're fixing your life, it's best that you do it when you're very, very peaceful, happy and clear-headed, isn't it? Not influenced by anything around you, simply by yourself. Sit and decide what is it that you really want to become in your life? What is it that will be of enduring value for you, not for somebody else, for you? You don't have to build a personality for that, you strive for that. The necessary persona will come. You must understand what a personality is. The word personality comes from the word persona. Persona means a mask. This is a mask that they used to use in old theaters. So it is those masks which were referred to as persona. So personality means you held a mask and mask got stuck to your face. <laughs> you couldn't pull it out. That means you have a personality. Personality is something that people are trying to develop because they have no sense of being. Instead of the real thing, you're trying to concretize the fake thing. If you are in touch with your being, why do you want a personality? It's not necessary. You can be a different kind of personality in different places. You are actually already. Or are you stuck with one personality? Some people are. People who are simplistic in their head have only one personality. Others have different personalities in different areas of life, isn't it? So personality is something that you have taken on, but you have become so unconscious about it that you think it's for real. You are asking how to develop, that means you are making it up, right? You are making it up. Make it up whichever way is suitable for your kind of activity, but you must be able to keep it down. If it gets stuck to your face, then it becomes misery. Then all suffering will come to you. You can take on any kind of personality, but when you want to keep it down, you must be able to keep it down. This is what meditation is for you. Every day when you sit, you strip yourself down. You don't have to do anything about it. See, anything that's made up needs constant support from you, isn't it? See, suppose you tell a lie, it needs constant support to keep it up, isn't it? But if something is true, you can even forget it, but it's still there, isn't it? If something is true, even if you forget it, it's still there, no problem. But if it's a lie, you have to keep it up. Your personality is a lie. Your being, your existence is the… is the truth. You don't have to keep this up, this will be anywhere there. What you make up for the sake of the society to function in the society, you need a certain kind of makeup. You must be able to keep it down. If you are going to bed fully made up, then something wrong with you. <laughs>